What is this? Breakfast? Mm -hmm. <laughs> For me? Yeah. You never make me breakfast. True. But, um, I had some free time this morning, so I thought I would treat you to a very special breakfast. Free time? I see. We need to talk. Talk about what, sweetie? I'm really disappointed. Disappointed? Don't interrupt me. You're always, you're always doing that. I just need to talk. I called your office a couple days ago. Oh. Why did you do that? I wanted to go for lunch. You wanted to go for lunch? Yeah, lunch. However, your boss told me you quit your job. Why, Karen? You loved your job. Yeah, I did. What I... wife in her right mind makes a decision like that without talking to her husband first? Karen, we've got mortgage payments. We have car payments. We have Bill's up to hear me. We're drowning in a mountain of debt. What were you thinking? Well, I, I was- I'm pissed off, Karen. And I think you're taking advantage of me. What? Taking advantage of you? Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I'm serious. I mean, you quit your job without even talking to me. Carl, you're wrong. I'm wrong. I have done everything I can to save this failing marriage. Let me explain. I worked my ass off to set up a really special birthday for you, Karen. I blew up 36 balloons. 36 balloons. I arranged a romantic dinner at the Diamond Jubilee. And all I got from you was this weird ass look on your face. I mean, not once did you say how good I looked or how good I smelled. I don't remember the last time you looked at me like you love me or that you want me and the whole evening went to a shit show. You don't understand. You don't appreciate me, Karen. You You've never appreciated anything I do. And, I have, and I've been so disengaged from this marriage, from this relationship for so many years, Karen. And, and I'm having an affair. With Sarah. I want a divorce. A divorce? You're cheating on me after 13 years of marriage. And you have the audacity to demand a divorce? Yeah, a divorce. You don't appreciate me the way Sarah does. <laughs> well, that answers some of my suspicions. You see, Sarah showed me the new cologne she had bought for her new boyfriend. And when you were wearing it that night, I just thought it was a weird coincidence. I was surprised when I walked in here and saw the balloons and the cake. Because you made a mistake. My birthday is in September 9th. It's August 9th. Oh, your birthday is... Yeah. You got my birthday mixed up with Sarah's. And the Diamond Jubilee? Last time we went there, I got food poisoning. But did you forget that too? Oh, right. And did you honestly think that planning one birthday would make up for two years of a failing marriage? But you were right about one thing. I did love my job. And it would take something pretty fantastic for me to quit. And as you know, I did quit two days ago. Because three days ago, I won the lottery. I won $10 million. <laughs> <laughs> this breakfast was gonna be special. I wanted to surprise you with a winning lottery ticket. And to think that I was going to take you on a romantic cruise. To rekindle our marriage. Now when the truth is out, it sucks to be you. And if you think for one second that you're going to get any of my winnings, I've got news for you. So you want a divorce? Fine. I hope you and Sarah live happily ever after, drowning in a mountain of debt. As for me, I'm gonna travel the world.